Hello, this is Venu, the developer of Trunk on Nectar, the nature simulator. In this special video, we look at the Monarch Butterfly's mating and reproduction, releasing soon in the game's next team update. We shall begin by looking at the new Caterpillar gameplay, which is vastly improved and rebalanced. As we pupate into an adult butterfly, elaborate mating rituals, flirting and racing mini-games await us. Finally, we shall look at the union and population of male and female butterflies along with the fancy new anatomy mode which helps players learn about the internal morphology of these wonderful creatures. So let's begin now as a male caterpillar. Alright, here we are as a monarch caterpillar in its egg form. Chew a hole, wriggle out. For those of you who already played the caterpillar, um, bear with me because there are some interesting changes here which you might enjoy. The first of them is the number of siblings. You have far more siblings now than you ever did before and there's two batches of them, one batch on this leaf here and another batch elsewhere. But the second interesting thing is that your consumption rate is really high right now so you can get through the caterpillar stage in a much shorter period of time which is what we are going to do now see my hunger level is already full and I can start acquiring some body fat now and just like that my first instar is almost uh, ready so this was in response to a lot of feedback that the caterpillar gameplay was kind of slow and I didn't want to take all the realism away out of it but at the same time there was a need to um, just quicken things up a little bit. But let me complete my first Insta already. Alright. Second Insta. Alright, the second interesting thing is that these chew holes are now real. In the past you could just walk over any chew hole. But now, um, just like with the jumping spider, the holes are actually real. And the other big change is the balance between consumption and locomotion. So in the past, if you spend a lot of time sitting on a single leaf consuming it, now you can expect a lot to move around a lot more because the amount of nutriment that you can extract from a single leaf is um, far lesser than what it was before. So I think that should make um, life a little more interesting for players as well, while still keeping it within the bounds of realism. Because that's always been one of the challenges, how do you make gameplay more engaging without um, stepping beyond a certain limit as far as realism is concerned. And that's a fine balancing act the game has been playing for a while and um, so far I'm happy with how it's come along but as always your feedback is welcome on this subject. Yeah this is what I meant by the later stars getting more and more interesting because the leaf is almost like a maze of holes and it's not that easy to find a way around. And with the new consumption rates, each leaf gets depleted so much sooner. The addition of silk, silk and safety lines would be another really interesting gameplay uh, avenue but for now I decided to get this update out as soon as I could. So silk is going to come to the game for sure sooner or later because obviously silk is big for invertebrates and the game can't ignore silk forever but at time to mold. With these many siblings, even a single leaf isn't going to last long. Because those who do enjoy the natural world are probably not going to mind even sitting for several hours chewing on a leaf but the game also needs to cater to those who um, would otherwise never get a chance to play a game like this or interact with the natural world in any other way. And as that is a part of the game's larger mandate, I do need to make sure that A variety of people can find the game accessible. Alright, it's time to sleep. Just for the sake of interest, I'm going to go to the underside. Maybe we should make that a thing where you absolutely have to go to the underside. Alright, it's a new day and as a caterpillar, I'm off to my caterpillar duties. This is a male caterpillar but you can't make out any difference yet because at this early stage they are morphologically um, indistinct. So, Alright, we're almost there. I believe we are in 4th in star now, on the way to our 5th. The absence of a predator for the monarchs, in this game at least, 
does make the gameplay slightly different but that is perfectly intentional at this point for those who want to face predators as a caterpillar you'll probably have to wait until the viceroy or some other maybe not even the viceroy maybe a swallowtail or some other kind of butterfly comes to the game all of which is due to happen at some point but right now the focus is on wrapping up life cycles for um the existing roster that will be a big milestone in and of itself for the game and once we're done with that we can start adding more subspecies all right we are ready to pupate i need to find a whole leaf and there's not many of those left on this stalk at least i believe this is the last one so i'm going to head to the underside start spinning some silk and let go a lot of improvements have been made to the pupation as well in the past there was some flickering and other visual artifacts all of those have been resolved so a lot of work has gone into this update not just with the monarch butterfly and the mating but also with the caterpillars and the pupa stages another interesting thing which you can't make out on this particular leaf is that in the past the pupa would always hang um, at a right angle perpendicular to the leaf and that didn't always make sense because you would expect them to hang vertically down with respect to gravity now that has been fixed it'll be easier to demonstrate what i mean if we were on a steep leaf but because this one is flat you can't really make out you anyway, you'll get to know what i mean when you play it for yourself hopefully soon This is a new touch we now highlight the pupa that's real because the population density is much greater now so it can be hard to even make out which uh, butterfly is yours or indeed which butterfly you are All right metamorphosis victory And now we're on to mating and reproduction. But first, a little sip of nectar. All right, I'm back after my little nectar break, but now it's time for our little butterfly to do the same thing. So drinking nectar. The objective here is to fill your crop with nectar. This is a nice chance to show off the new anatomy mode, so I'm going to press V, and the crop is the thing, the yellow thing in the center. and um they take in nectar through their proboscis which is this curled little thing on the front if i go out of anatomy mode that's the proboscis and um the esophagus is the yellow thing over here the food pipe towards the center of the screen you have the crop and that's where all the nectar gets stored and then you have the mid gut below and the hind gut and the anal opening towards the back but we can take a look a closer look at that later For now it's back to filling my crop with nectar. The anatomy is going to increasingly become a larger and larger part of the game. I would like to take as much information as possible out of the HUD and straight into the game with the internal organs. So if you want to know how your creature is doing, you would just tune in and check out the <laughs> internal organs instead of looking at the hard All right, I don't want to ruin the anatomy yet because I've reserved it for the uh, mating. So, but for now, my crop is full and it's time to look for a female to mate with. So we with that we enter the first of the little mini games which is flirting. This is a simple flirting system uh, in place now. and those are the females the game has a new chemtrail filter mode now in the past we just had flora and fauna so that's the fauna which includes all kinds of creatures not just the monarchs but predators and other prey and this this was the flora which is all of the flowers but now we have a new chem mode which is mates only with this mode i can find out who all my mates are 
in this case all the female monarch butterflies and here's a potential mate no mm -hmm. i'm going to be a little choosy let's see which one should i pick mm. how about this one so this is the flirting mini game there's a call and response kind of mechanism where i engage in a call and the female responds back at this point in time it's really simple minded we just have a couple of gestures and the female replies back but in in the future you can expect the system to get a little more complex we'll see depending on um, player feedback but for now it's time to enter the next phase which is summoning of the rival males this is the first mating ritual a uh, racing mini game and those are all the rival males who are going to race with us to win um, all the races already on so, um, let me focus so that's the female and she's going to race across these flowers and the idea here is that you need to keep pace with her um if you lag behind then oops <laughs> that shouldn't have happened I better get back because if you lag behind for too long, then you lose and you drop out of the race, and she's going to mate with someone else. And another thing that we have is a physicality system. So I need to engage with her physically by carrying her. This is not mating, by the way. Um, insects don't mate in this fashion in any case, except maybe dragonflies. But this is the physicality part of the new system. In order to increase your chances of winning, you need to engage physically with her. And one of the ways you can do that now is by carrying her around away from the rivals. All right, this is the second part of the um, racing mini game. This is a sky race where we race into the skies. And now it's a timed event. The first one to um reach her at the end of the 60 second time period gets to present himself and hopefully mate if she accepts but we'll see about that and again you can increase your chances of winning by engaging physically by carrying her away from the rival so this is part of the new flirting system It's really simple minded right now because I don't want to overwhelm uh, players with too much complexity because a large proportion of the game's players include um you know parents and their children and people from all kinds of demographics other than those who would want um extremely deep gameplay so the game does need to cater to uh, many different people All right so I am victorious and i have managed to win her hand or her wings <laughs> or tarsi what were the right saying is for that what were the appropriate anatomical part that corresponds to it anyway she's off her way down onto a milkweed plant and this is the next part of the mating ritual where i follow her down a lot of this isn't exactly how the monarchs do it by the way but uh, This is my take on the whole thing. All right, mating. So the first thing insects do, as we all know, is to turn around and face each other. And this is the moment where they interlock. All right, this is the magical moment. Um What the male does now is transfer his spermatophore which is not just sperm but it also includes nutrients you can read up more on that yourself um but for now for the sake of the video let's move on to the fun part this is the new anatomy mode depicting the act of copulation and union to your right is the male with his genital organs to your left is the female The glowing thing over there is the sperm and the spermatophore. If I look at the 
I've never done this before. But um, we can go through a de- detailed walkthrough of the anatomy itself at some point. Um, but for now, let's move on with the mating. Now, as the male, the next part of the mating ritual is to carry her to a new flower. Now, many of you may have seen this in your own gardens or in a nearby park. It's one of the most common sights you'll see when butterflies are mating. The male carrying the female around. So, that is now a part of the game. Once again, transfer. So, the thing on the right, this is the um, dorsal blood vessel. They have an open circulatory system, so that's pretty much the only closed component of it, but we'll get to the details later. For now, let's just have fun being a butterfly and mating. And keep the birdie stuff for later. These are the female's ovaries. She has four um, ovarioles, each of which are composed of many different oocytes. And that's going to be a key focus of the game um, in the egg laying phase. This is the epic conclusion um, where you go on to the top of a pine tree. This is my favorite part of the whole thing. It takes a saying taking her to heaven and back quite literally. The butterfly version of it. Far superior. Alright, here we are in the magical moment where we drop down. The pine trees now have hitboxes, but only for this part. Okay, that's much better. Obviously, there's some tweaking to be done, but again, uh, this is just a dev video. There's, <laughs> there's a lot of bug fixing to be done before this update gets out. That's always the way of things. Alright, so yeah, these are the ovarioles, four to your left, four to the right. Um, they are going to be a big part of the uh, next section, just laying of eggs. Alright, mating victory, and we are done with this particular phase of the video. Hello again, this time we are back playing as a female monarch butterfly. Let's go through the mating system again as a female now. The male and female have vastly different gameplay, so I encourage you to try out both when the update releases. But for now, let's fill our crop with nectar first. Just like we did with the male. Almost there, just a few more sips. Alright, so now that we are full, I'm going to sit on this flower and attract the mates. Uh, the males, rather. The way it works now, you release pheromones to attract nearby males. And this is actually contrary to how it actually works because in reality it's only the male monarchs who have um, who have the scent glands on their uh, scent pouches on their wings. But for the sake of the game, I decided to model it in this particular fashion. If necessary, it might be rectified at some point, but for now, uh, I think this just works best. So as a female, you attract all the males and they come around to you. And we go through the same racing minigame again, but this time we are the one who, who's going to lead the race. And so it's going to be a vastly different experience this time. In fact, I greatly prefer playing the race as a female because you get to race around these um, pink trails, the flowers, and that's a lot of fun to do. And it just goes to show how many different directions a game like Drunk Connector can be taken in because you can have racing, you can have all kinds of, you can have anatomy combat as we recently did, brawler combat. There's all kinds of stuff that can happen within the gamut of a nature game because ultimately all of life occurs within the spectrum of nature and so a nature game has nearly every single gameplay mechanic you can think of as a part of it. Alright. Um, the trail is going down under so it must be somewhere ahead. Yeah, there. We have a new speed burst mechanic out here. Oh, I got caught by a male. <laughs> Once again, that is not mating. That is just the male trying to catch me and carry me away from his rivals. The actual mating occurs later. Just in case you were confused. Uh, obviously not everyone is familiar with how insect mating actually plays out. Or even the fact that they turn around to mate. Anyway, so as I was saying, there's a new speed burst feature. 
So if I press space bar I can fly much faster like that, flutter to the top. So there's a lot of interesting uh, little touches like that which have been added to this Monarch update and I hope the players will enjoy them. Um, but for now let me race ahead to the final train. The objective as a female is to weed out the slow males so that you get to choose from the fastest ones. And oops, I'm going to get caught. <laughs> And that is what I'm doing right now by racing along these trails. I'm leaving the slowest males far behind me. Damn, that, that was the last of them. Now that that phase is over, we proceed to the sky race. This is always my favorite part. I think it's just a really relaxing experience to fly among these trees and the skies. Also great for good dreams by the way. If you play this before you sleep, I can, I can tell that from experience. If you're having any trouble with dreams, play this stuff before you go to sleep. And you'll be floating among the skies as a butterfly. What could be better than that? And being chased by an entire army of males. <laughs> Alright, um... The objective over here is to find the apex of each tree and that is your checkpoint and the males are right here behind me. Oh, I got caught again. Well, the last trail is some days away from us. Alright, now it's time to choose the mate. The mate selection isn't actually built out yet because that's planned for Act 4. Um, where you have all of these different males, each of whom carry different traits and you'll get to choose from traits that you like for your, or traits that you want for your progeny and so on. But for now, for the sake of simplicity, you just automatically choose the first male who reached you. That seems fair. Now in order to mate, I'm flying all the way down to a milkweed, just like the female did when we played as a male earlier in this video. This is the nuptial chamber. Wait for the male to land. There he is. In this case, the male somehow landed at an angle which was exactly aligned with me. So we did not go through the, with the, earlier in this video, we went through the face with the male that you had to orient. But now, um, you get the idea. Let me just. There was an animation flaw uh, in that, by the way, the male should not have been walking. But anyway, um, that will be fixed for the upcoming release. Just for the sake of clarity, this thing is not out yet, it's still in de under development. This is just an early sneak peek and um, a way of getting feedback. Alright, now, as I'm playing as a female, it's my turn to receive sperm or nutrients. And this is what is known as the spermatophore. Unlike in mammals or other creatures, in the case of insects, the male actually delivers not just sperm, but a packet of nutrients which the female uses for various purposes. Right from nutrition to also things that contain special um, chemicals that are used to ward off predators and things like that. So that is known as the spermatophore. And um, let's talk a bit about the anatomy. So this thing over here to, to the center of the screen at the bottom, the sphere, that is known as the copulatory bursa. That is the point where all the semen, the spermatophore and the sperm actually enter. Um, from here they travel to a chamber where the sperm is stored. And um, that only happens when the eggs are actually laid. So after mating is complete, over a period of time the female will develop the eggs within her. And once that is done, as the eggs are discharged, the sperm that has been stored from this mating is used up for that. So this little pouch 
on the top of the screen that is what i'm talking about that is where the stuff sperm eventually gets stored um i'm actually planning to add a more detailed anatomy overviews right into the game that um, you know players can interact with different organs they can find out more about what each of them does and um, it's going to be much easier to explain all the different parts and pieces but a great deal of care has been made uh, to ensure that they are as anatomically accurate as possible for the purpose of this game i still wouldn't recommend it as an educational um, aid or an accompaniment but let's try again or right, it's much better in reality the female never carries the male around but anyway for the sake of the game it's more fun to have the ability both ways so all right this is the final segment once again you can make out who the male is and who the female is because of the scent pouches on the wing so that to your right is the male and to your left is the female and this is the final phase All right, we are now a mated female. We have all the sperm we need to fertilize our eggs when we eventually lay them. And the next phase of development is going to be the actual egg production, the laying of eggs. Let me hop down so I can talk about that. And for this, um as I said earlier, anatomy, the internal anatomy, the organs are going to be a big part of the game in the future. So, I really want to do something special for this for the laying of eggs. The plan that I have is to depict the actual egg formation inside these ovarioles. The ovarioles are these string-like things you see here, four on the left, four on the right, and the bead-like strands that you see on them, the beads, those are the oocytes. Um those that is where the eggs um, are formed and they pass through each bead um and eventually they emerge at the other side in the oviduct. and uh, they get fertilized by the sperm as the female lays an egg and then they come out the opening of the where the eggs are laid the vaginal opening is actually different from the copulatory opening so that is a unique trait of these butterflies and moths lepidoptera the copulatory opening um, is actually different from the oviposition uh, the um, the duct that is used for oviposition So that is going to be interesting to depict um and that's the development which is still pending. I don't know how long it's going to take, maybe a week, maybe maybe a couple of weeks. Um there was someone who wrote to me asking whether the update could be released before Christmas. Um I'm not quite sure. It's not looking very likely at the moment because I do want to uh, make sure that the laying of eggs, the oviposition is done in a very special manner. I think the internal anatomy is a great tool for the game, not just educational but also even from a gameplay standpoint it opens up new dimensions which were not available before. So I do plan to take my own time on that to make sure it comes out right. But anyway, once that is done, you as a female butterfly will find a spot on the milkweed. Having um, produced all your eggs, you will fertilize them on the spot as you lay them on the underside of this leaf. you will start laying your eggs once that is done hmm, this is a good place to end this video i like the view once that is done it will be time for act 4 which is when i plan to do the monarch butterfly migration and um, the things like um, multi generational gameplay where you get to choose between different genetic traits or multiple generations and um, Act 4 is highly experimental. I'm not quite sure what it's finally going to look like, but that's the plan for now. I may even go back to the jumping spider and get its mating done in the interim. We'll have to see. Another ambitious plan is landscape rewrite because as many of you know, the landscape and the flora, they really haven't gotten much love in a long time, but they really deserve to because this is not just a game about animals but the plants and nature in general um they are a big part of it too so the landscape has got to we need more biomes the game needs more maps maps which are much larger than this needs more flora and that's going to be a big focus too the plan that i have is to use the monarch butterfly's migration route as a 
as an opportunity to add more biomes and more landscapes and um, obviously it's not the game is not going to model the actual monarch butterfly migration that would be too huge um, <laughs> both in terms of the amount of land territory to be covered and the amount the development complexity but what the game can do is to pick some of the i some iconic biomes that the monarch butterfly will cross over and to depict those as a part of the game and that will probably be a good opportunity to expand the game's landscapes so obviously there's all of this land out here just waiting to be you know uh just waiting to have life sprouting all over it so i'm really excited for that phase of the game most likely in 2019 given the current trajectory let's just wait till we've slept for the night under the stars all right that should probably be the subject of another day video because this one's gotten long already um this update should be out hopefully soon maybe a week maybe a couple of weeks and i appreciate your patience in waiting i know it's taken a while but things like this anatomy um all of that was not part of the plan it just happened so but i think in the long run the game will benefit from the inclusion of anatomy what we have now is just a really basic start but it's possible to go really really deep into these things cuz there is a lot of intricacy in nature as always and it's going to be a lot of fun to go incorporate that intricacy into the game all right i can't wait to get this release out and i can't wait to see you play it and see all of you make videos about it i really enjoy watching all the videos and So thanks a lot for watching this one too. All right, this blaze of light is a great way to end the video. So thanks a lot for watching. The be the um, this update will be out soon and I can't wait to see all of you play it. The game has a long road ahead of it. So there's a lot of exciting things on the horizon. But for now, thanks a lot for watching and I hope to see you around again soon. Thank you.